Hello everybody, it's Max McAllister here from Traction Dynamics. Today I'm going to give you a kind of an overview update on our 2021 mega build project that we're doing for our rider from Alaska who's going to attempt a uh, long distance endurance record. Um, we plan to deliver this bike to him. He turns uh, 70 on June the 3rd. So we're hoping this bike, he'll be here to be fitted to it around June the 1st do some test rides on the second and then start off on an adventure on June the 3rd. So uh, you've, we've done several of these. It's been a couple of weeks. Um, right now I work on this bike on the weekends while we're closed just because it's quiet and I can get work done this then that way with, uh, without distraction. So, so far I have about uh, 80 hours of labor into the bike. I kind of foresee uh, 40 more <laughs> for sure. To get it finished um, but uh, we're right now if you look at it you go oh my god this is a, a disaster but uh, believe it or not it is coming together uh, and it, it's been a tremendous amount of work with the owner uh, sorting out his controls luckily he has a lot of experience in long distance riding and uh, so uh, having a guy who really kind of knows what he wants has a lot of experience is extremely helpful um, in doing a big build project like this so uh, where, the, where the rubber really meets the road is as all the components get mounted to the motorcycle, there's wiring that has to be done that is you know, not a job for the faint of heart or the weak of skill. Uh, so tremendous amount of wiring. And if you want a bike to you know, be able to live reliably and not fail and constantly give the owner trouble, uh, the wiring is, the, is just so important. It has to be properly routed, properly loomed, so nothing interferes, nothing gets pulled, nothing gets ground, nothing gets shorted, and um, it's a big deal. So um, this bike uh, is going to be fitted with a, a TPX uh, laser, uh, laser jamming system. Uh, if you can come over here and kind of look at what all is going on here um, at the kind of controls. So there'll be a uh, TPX laser jamming system. That'll, the brain will be in the glove box, hidden in the glove box. Uh, there's a pair of transponders on the front and, uh, and then uh, visual alert lights. Uh, so if a policeman happens to shoot him with a laser beam, the left uh, visual alert here will flash really brightly at him so he'll know what's going on. And then the system uh, is active for three seconds and then shuts itself off. He also has a remote control here that he'll be able to run. If it flashes once, he can hit it, but it, the, it supposedly takes three seconds to shut it down. So there'll be three seconds that a policeman might go, hey, how come I'm not hitting that motorcycle? And the, this bike will block it no matter what speed you're doing. So that gives you a chance to close the throttle, slow down, and find the normal safe speed and smile at the cop as you go by. And then he's also using the TPX uh, radar detector over here. We've got that on uh, the Traction Dynamics radar detector mount, which is out to the side, clear of the windscreen, and gives a clear fore and aft view, because this has an aft uh, viewing radar sensor. So it'll be inside of his arm, and he'll be able to see behind him. Uh, this is a Bad Elf um, product called a Bad Elf. This is a GPS signal amplifier. Um, so that uh, helps um, when he's in remote areas. We'll make sure the bike is always GPS connected. This is the RAM uh, cell phone mount that uh, does wireless charging, and uh, that's pretty cool. So we'll have um, very. He's got various uh, toll booth passes as he goes from city to town, town or state to state. I mean, uh, over here we're going to do a custom mount. He's got the CB installed on the bike. But uh, using the uh, Healy Bars Horizon setup, the fully infinitely adjustable handlebars, they, they have one little fly in their ointment there with this product. And that's, there's no, if you have a CB, they don't have a way to mount the switch other than to mount it straight up at the sky. Uh, you know, most people don't want their switches pointed up into the rain and the sun. So we're going to fabricate a, uh, I have an, a cool part here that I'm going to make uh, that will make this oriented properly for his thumb. And... Then, uh, uh, obviously, we, you'll see we've got um, uh, a shelf that's built, custom shelf built for gadgets and gizmos. We're going to have a couple more Ram balls coming for 
uh, things and give him options if he wants to uh, mount stuff to the top. His, we're going to have a uh, new Garmin Zumo XT uh, that will likely just be sitting in front of the stock Honda Nav, which by most people's uh, opinion is completely useless. So he wants to have redundancy in navigation. So he normally navigates with his phone, but he'll have redundancy there with a Garmin. And the Garmin is actually super trick. The new Garmin Zumo XT is like really um, elaborate uh, and a lot of cool uh, updated features. And then one of the key elements to his success for a long distance adventure here is this auxiliary gas tank. So um, right now we're kind of run into trouble with the Corbin saddle being set so far back compared to the stock one. So Monday we're going to call Corbin and hopefully they make or have a saddle that's not cut so far backwards from because the stock saddles up here. And so it basically this far back, even with the horizon bars, if you're a rider of average height, your arms, you can't hardly touch the controls. So the seat's just too far back. Um, you'd have to be a very tall rider, I think, to use this uh, configuration. This also already has our uh, Traction Dynamics trunk setback kit on it, the inch and a half kit. We're probably going to go ahead and move this one back to, to the two and a half inch spec while he's got his gas tank on it. It's just a member, one single member you change and you can move the trunk fore and aft depending on what location you want it. So once our base bracketry kit's installed and you remove the factory Honda subframe, um, you can take this trunk on and off in 10 minutes. Uh, and it also gives us, you know, option if he's running this auxiliary tank, he'll be able to back it up, have more room between him or room to stuff a jacket or something. So this is something we got to work out. Um, we're, and we're not, we're not clear on where we're going with that yet, but uh, it's part of the, part of the fun and drama of, of uh, building the bike. Here's a 2021 Honda luggage rack all installed. This was powder coated black custom by Miller's here in it, Miller's powder coating in Atlanta. So it's the only one like that that I know of. Uh, and you know, we're, it's kind of all coming together. Um, here's, you know, the Rivco trailer hitch with um, a mount f installed for a packet rack, which he's gonna be doing his adventure with, not a trailer, he's gonna be using a packet rack. And, uh, and so that's, that's where we're at. Uh, this shelf was quite a project. Um, the only way to do this shelf is the dash has to come on and off and on and off and the windshield on and off the whole thing together, fit a piece, take it all back apart, adjust a piece, put it all together, take it all back apart. It, very, very time consuming. So that was uh, uh, custom. This is a shelf that was intended for a 2001 to 2017 uh, Goldwing made by Fire Creek Accessories. So it had a bunch of tabs and bracketry that were not going to work with this bike. Um, it was intended to be mounted to a windshield. The owner did not want it mounted to a windshield, so he wanted it secured to, mounted to the dash. So you can see here, I've done a pretty epic job, if I say so myself, of modifying that uh, shelf and uh, securing it to this motorcycle. So, uh, but that was you know, a more than half a day's work. It was, uh, I think I had five hours just putting that shelf on that bracket. It was, it was a big deal. So there's nice custom cues in here. You can see for routing the wiring and custom machine dowels and uh, everything's fitted so that it looks as close to as if Honda had done it them, done themselves um, as I can make it. So we like it to look clean and neat and professional. So. Anyway, this is where we're at. Uh, a week from now, I suspect this will r be much farther down the road. And in you know, two weeks, I actually need to be delivering it. So <laughs> this, uh, I've got to hit the, hit the road here with this and get it going, going much faster than I'm going. So anyway, uh, that's just the update on the project. And uh, so check back on my bowls of spaghetti and when we'll see if I get this put together and cleaned up and eaten up and looking good. So thanks a lot for watching. My name's Max. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends.